I am M Rivers and it is now September of 2020. It's been about five years now since I created and uploaded that YouTube video of this 2013 Harley Davidson 883 iron, basically displaying all the custom work that my father and I did to it back then. Now that video has reached about 1.8 million views and in that time it actually triggered a lot of people to reach out to me asking me exactly what parts I used on this bike and how I got it to look the way that it does now. I haven't had a lot of free time in the past to make a parts list, but this is basically a video giving you that information, providing you the answers that you've been asking, and maybe you can use some of these ideas on your own bike. So again, thanks for following. Thank you for checking out my videos, and hopefully this is helpful to you. Check it out. All right, so here it is, that 2013 Harley Davidson 83 iron that was featured on that YouTube video with the AWOL Nation sales song back in 2015. Um, clearly it doesn't look the same anymore because I've made more changes to it since that time, including the uh, air cleaner and the pipes and the chain. Um, I'll start with that now. First thing I'll go over is the exhaust on this bike. These are Basani sweepers. These are heat wrapped. I believe that these look better than the original set I had, which were Vance and Hines short shots. He's given more of a rugged look to it and the reason why he did this. The air cleaner, this is a Arlen S Monster Sucker. The original air cleaner I had in that video was in Vance and Heinz Duke model. Next is the uh, chain. This is a Lowbrow Customs chain conversion kit. It does come with the um, sprocket and the chain. Um, I did this change because I like the rugged look to this better. Um, to be worn though, changing to change from belt does require a lot more maintenance and work. Uh, it is not easy also to swap out, but if you're up for it, I think it makes the bike look better. One of the most frequent questions that I get is about this chin spoiler. It is not a hardy part and it does not look the way you see it here. It actually does look like this that requires you to make a lot of changes to it, cutting, molding, and eventually get it to fit where it is now. Um, it is a part that's no longer manufactured that I can see the exact same model is no longer around. I try to find it again and it's been discontinued pretty much at every site that I could find it before. So good luck if you are looking to get the exact part. Uh, it is not gonna be an easy find. The wheels. Originally I had a stock mag wheels that came with this bike. I've since changed them to a set of stock Nightster wheels. These came off of a 2009 Harley Davidson Nightster. It was pretty much an easy swap for me because it was compatible with this year model of the iron. But if you are looking to swap these out, make sure that the one that you get match all the components of the bike um, year that you have. The seat, this is a solo seat. It is from West Eagle, Japan. Um, do keep in mind that there are a lot of models for it um, on the site, so you have to look at the one that you like the best. I went with the lowest profile that also has the slimmest wide angle to it, but if you want something wider or stitched, whatever you want, um, that's something you have to decide for your bike. Um, it is not attached to the back of the bike. It's actually just placed with rubber mounts directly on the frame um, and the only attachment that I have is by using this T-bracket and then I drilled a couple of grooves into the frame and then attached it at the back of the tank. The tail lights, these are Harrison Specialty LED lights but I do have to warn you that they're not very good quality as several times the bulbs inside the lights have burnt out on me making me have to return them and exchange them for others. And last I checked on the website, they were actually discontinued, the red ones. The mirrors, these are very basic. Um, you can find them pretty much at any website. I believe if you just Google billet mirrors for motorcycles, you'll find them. Um, some people don't like them, but I think they made the bike look pretty cool, so. So the headlights no longer attached to the motorcycle with that ugly lid that comes with the bike. Uh, a friend of mine and I uh, basically made a bracket where we drilled a hole on the fork bridge and bent that metal piece directly onto the uh, on the fork bridge to the lamp. 
It is the stock lamp. It is just flipped upside down, and I think it makes it look better. You get rid of that ugly lid that comes with the bike. Many people ask me what size tank lift I have on this thing, but as you can see, there is no bracket lift in the tank on the bike. It is still sitting in its original spot. The way I was able to achieve this is by relocating all the cables from underneath the tank, tucking them up, and removing the plastic cover that comes with the bike. Another thing I did is relocated the ignition in between the heads with a bracket that my friend and I fabricated. Now you can actually find these brackets online now so they're not something that you have to make yourself. You can actually purchase it. The license plate holder. This is an easy installation. You basically just have to buy the bracket, install it on the uh, suspension mount. Um, it is an easy swap and it also gives you that clean look that you're looking for. The suspension, the bike does have a set of progressive shocks, 10.5s or 11s, with a dropping springs on the front forks to drop the front end and the back of the bike. It does make it look a lot nicer with a lower stance to it. The handlebars, these are actually not the factory handlebars that came with the motorcycle flipped upside down. A lot of people assume that they flip them upside down and make the bike look really awkward with them hanging a little too low. These are actually the Bitwell Tracker Bars Dimple. Make sure you get the dimpled model, otherwise you won't be able to attach the cables to the handlebars as they are now. The rear fender. This is actually a Harley 48 front fender attached to the back of this bike. It is also attached to the original bracket where the larger fender used to sit. Now also keep in mind that you'll need to chop the rails on the motorcycle, which means that you will not be able to attach another seat to it or put it back the way it was before. So if you're gonna go this route, you definitely wanna make sure you do that. You chop the rails with the circular saw to get this open look on the back of the bike. The fuel management system. If you're gonna upgrade your exhaust and the air intake on your motorcycle, it is highly recommended for you to get some sort of fuel management system. Otherwise you run the motorcycle lean and burn the pipes. So what I did is I bought this old fashioned fuel pack from Vance and Heinz, which um, does require you to manually insert all the codes in the map of the uh, setup that you have running. But the new versions actually are programmable through your uh, phone through an app. So if you get the ones that are available now, it would be a lot easier to set up. The gas cap. This is actually a Harley Davidson part that you can find from the website or any local dealership. It is called the flush mount gas cap. The storage bag. This is a saddle bag from La Rosa. They actually have a lot of options on their website, but I went with the most basic straight black classic look with a wide buckle. The speedometer. As you know, these motorcycles come with it attached to the top of the handlebars. But this part is a Joker machine relocation kit that basically removes it from the handlebars and places it on the fork of the motorcycle. It is just clamped on. And another great feature about the speed relocation kit is that it comes with all the indicators already on it. So you know when you are neutral or using your turn signals. The hand grips. These are actually made by Harley Davidson. They're called the diamond black hand grips. The derby and timing covers. You can find these online by searching dark customs, derby and timing covers for sportsters.